We can speak until the cows come home, until the chickens roost, you know, about this topic because it's that exciting. It hooks you in, like it's exciting. A network goes down, you're like, oh man, I'm gonna get the fix, what's the break? Okay, let me ping. Okay, I'm from this router to that router. Okay, I can ping. From that router to that router, I can't ping. From that router to that router, I can ping. Okay, but I can't go to the west side. Right. Okay, let me pull up the router and let me let me look at the configurations. You know, let me do some show IP protocols. Let me do a show IP route. Let me do a show something. Let me see what's causing the confliction. Is it a a duplex mismatch? It, did a port go error disabled for whatever reason? Okay, what caused that port to go error disabled? You got to you got to be spinning the wheels. You know, and you need that type of experience from hands on. Again, if, if you win the game and you got to be serious about it, you got to be dedicated. You got to be passionate. You know, you got to be passionate in what you do. That's in any field. If you ain't passionate in what you do, man, more than likely you probably won't succeed at it or succeed as, as much as you should or capable of because you ain't got no passion for it. Just like anything else. Hey, but there is times when you, I don't want to say are not no longer passionate, but you lose that motivation. Yeah. At, the, at that point, what, how do you recommend somebody get out of that rut? Like if your career is not going the way you want it, what do you recommend somebody do? You could be losing the passion as it pertains to that job. And what I would say to somebody personally is if you're unhappy at that job, leave. Um, obviously, there's things at that job that you feel as if pre preventing you from growing or that opportunity isn't there for you to really expand your wings and take flight. Um, if that's the case, leave. Um, Restudy some labs, resubmit your resume, put it out there on the world again, put it out on the market, on the network, and hopefully, you know, somebody gives you a call. I mean, I know one thing if you don't do the work, nothing's gonna happen, right? So, if you do do the work, there's a greater possibility that something is gonna happen. You know, it's just like throwing throwing stones in the, in, in the water and you're seeing that ripple effect. Well, that ripple effect, you know, although you can't see it no more, but that that momentum that that movement you know what i mean it's, it's still circulating although you might not not be able to see it as much so with that being said never let nobody kill your passion i mean you've worked too hard and you've been on this journey too long to to give up right you know and, and quit you know don't, don't give up until your heart stops um as long as you got a pulse and a heartbeat and a sound mind where you can think for yourself sound judgment you got to keep moving on man you got to keep persevering you know I mean nobody never said it was easy um, but if you had a job and you feel as if it's not putting you under the right direction you want to be you know stabilize yourself financially whatever you got to do you know wife family job time management all that is also factored into that decision and just leave you know move on um, if, if that's what you experience just move on go, go to another job you know you might be in a position to start a company for yourself if you can do it, you know. Be a Sky, boss. Sky's the limit. You know, be your own boss. Yep. That, that's a great point. I really want to talk, touch on being your own boss, but since we're talking about being a network engineer and basically being in IT, job tools that you use for job hunting. You got something that you recommend off the top of your head? Uh, like looking for a job? Yeah. Um, like how would you... Like if I'm putting the resume out there, yeah. And I'm if you put your okay. resume, like what approach Bro, would you take? What sites would you use? Career Builder is great, man. That's probably the number one in my book. Over, over Indeed. No, I mean, okay, but I'm I'm going. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm going on Career Builder over than Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Indeed is cool. I like Indeed, but Career Builder, man, you got the one clicks. Uh, true. You know, and you can do a hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, what I dislike. Okay, you looking at a job position. You read the description. Oh, no. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, easy. Then you fill out the application. It's like an hour long. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, I mean, come on. How many hour long applications are you gonna fill out? I'm, 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 I'm disengaged after two. <laughs> <laughs> but career builder, you put that beautiful resume up. One click. You did it. One click. It went to like thirty people. Then the next day, phone buzzing. People calling you. You important. They rolling out the red carpet. Am I speaking to Khalifa? Hi, this is Chelsea. Hi, this is Dan. Hi, this is Bob. You know what I mean? You're just working it. You know, so definitely. <laughs> I'll have you. Definitely. Um, career Builder is fantastic. Indeed. Uh, Monster. 
Man, nah. My main two that I use is Career bu Career Builder, ND, and Dice. Uh, Dice yeah. is a good one too. And they also they got that other site uh, I forgot. Uh, but managers use it too when they look for people. Is it Zip Recruiter? It, it might be Zip Recruiter. Okay, Zip Recruiter is pretty cool. But my top two that I highly recommend is um, Career Builder and ND. And don't forget LinkedIn. Thanks. You know, reach out to your LinkedIn to some of your college graduate partners. You know, reach out. You might know somebody on Facebook. I mean, in this day and age, man, with all these social media outlets, you should never have yourself just locked in one position where, you know, you can't find your way out. I mean, if you think the door is closed, it's closed. You, you closed it. And if you're looking for the key, it's because you, you misplaced it. You got the key and you got the key to unlock the door. I mean, I mean you're your own worst enemy in that sense. So definitely career builder is hot. And ND, man, I recommend those. Those are the top two. You mentioned something, and, and we got to talk about this because you do it and I do it. Relationship with recruiters. How you? How much do you value that? Oh man, re relationships with recruiters go a long way. Um, I've, I've gotten many positions and many offers because of the relationships that I have with recruiters. Um, it's kind of like you know how it is. You, your your first impression is everything. Uh, I mean, and, and that's true. You know, and there are some exceptions to the rule. I mean, but like we know, the exception is not the rule. So, in just a general, you know, consensus, you know, first impression, you know, is impactful. Um, eye contact, you know, eye contact, firm handshake, you know. You give your word to somebody, honor your word. If you're late for whatever reason, hey, I apologize, I'm running late. I'll be able to make it up to you that day or whatever. You know, um, be truthful. You know, tell somebody what you can do and what you can't do. Tell them your strengths and your weaknesses. Because the lack, because another thing too, the recruiter is putting their job on the line, you know, sort of speak per se. Um, yeah, I got this candidate, he's fired up. Whoop de whoop de wop. Yeah, he's awesome, he's this, you know, he didn't he didn't gave you the whole picket fence. And then you show up to the interview late. Or you get to the interview, you know, you're not engaged. You know, you you're you you're doing this. Never do that. You know, if I was an interview and you doing that, if I didn't want a lawsuit, I'd slap the <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> but, you know, I want no lawsuit. So, uh, <laughs> right, I'd be wilding, right. But, um, yo, yeah, man, you that relationship with the contractor, man, it's kind of like hand in glove. You know, he ride for you, you ride for them in that sense. Like, they're putting their neck on the line for it. They're vouching for you. So just honor that relationship, you know, keep the integrity of that relationship because the moment you get a bad rep on you with these contracting agencies, and you might not believe it or not, they talk like different contractors, they know different groups and associations. Right. So you always want your name to be in good standing, just like anything that you do, you know. I don't want to digress here, but I'll just give some examples, you know, like making a car payment, make your car payment on time. You know, you got a utility bill. You don't pay it on time. Keep your name and your status in good standing. So when everybody's like, hey, Jesse or, or Sarah, you know, oh, man, she's a great candidate. She's on time. She's this and that. You know, and you want people to vouch for you. And when people vouch for you, you know, honor honor the way that they vouch for you, which is real simple. I'm, I'm going to give it to you in three basic steps. Show up on time. Keep your word. And, and engage at the interview. I mean, it, it's that simple. Show up on time. Be dedicated, be responsible, be accountable. You know what I mean? The, the three A's. And, and you and you be good to go. I, I agree, bro. I agree. Man, this was great. Is there anything you want to say before we wrap this up, man? Man, what I can say is never give up. Uh, whatever endeavor you in. I mean, whatever it is. Being a painter, a teacher, a nurse, IT, whatever. Whatever it is, don't give up. Don't stop. Um, if people are giving you negative feedback or negative energy in your surroundings separate yourself from it go get in the positive think tank you know dogs don't hang with cats and cats don't hang with dogs you know is that simple you know never give up keep the fight alive and keep keep pushing man that's all i can say man don't give up and keep pushing man facts you know all right you two i hope you enjoyed this interview yeah me and my boy Kay, I appreciate you coming out. Yeah, all day, man. You already know. Hey. It's my guy, man. Hey. It's my guy right here. You already know. It's my man. But 
If y'all got any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like this video, share, subscribe yeah. if you have not already subscribed. Hopefully we can do this again. Like I said, this is my man. Yes, sir. I appreciate him coming out. Man, hope you enjoyed it, man. It was a pleasure rapping with you guys, speaking to the family of the universe, man. Much love, much respect, man. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Yeah, keep Thank pushing. You. Keep putting in that work. Believe in yourself. Peace. Peace out.